Honestly, I think they are a very good example to university students because they will never give up on finding food and we should never give up on getting a degree. So the IBIS is known to be UNSW's unofficial mascot and for years they've been terrorising our campus. But on this week's episode on Pulse, we're going to discover there's actually more than meets the eye to these beautiful creatures. Let's put our bird watching glasses and go. <laughs> well, here it is in its natural habitat, scrapping for food. I mean, we're all about recycling here at UNSW, so I guess they're doing a good contribution to that. I actually think the ibises are quite beautiful. I would die for those thighs. <laughs> it's got some beautiful detailing behind its head too. A nice millennial pink. I think they'd go quite far on Australia's next top model. I'm not going to say top three, but I think they could make it to top five. Look at it showcasing its stuff. Walk, walk, fashion baby. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be on top. So the Ibis is known for being the bin chicken. That's their thing really. Like my thing might be commerce, but their thing is bins. Mmm, beautiful. Oh, it's yeah. pooing in the bin. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> That's what it eats from. Um, it's perfect, I guess, if you're by yourself and you're feeling yeah. a bit lonely at lunch. You can always rely on our yeah. UNSW mascot to make you feel welcome. Hey. Please fly at her, please. I'm Sarah. Can you imagine? I think you're cute. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching this week's episode of Pulse, and we hope we've shed some light on why ibises are awesome. So next time you see one around the campus, don't be afraid of it. Go off and say hi. Hi. Bye. Are you an ibis? Because I've <laughs> been chicken you out. <laughs>